Today I'm going to show you how you can add appointment booking form on your WordPress website using a free plugin. So before starting the video just subscribe my channel and like this video so I can create more videos for you. So let's start. Just go to plugins, click on add new. Now just search our booking. It will show you all the plugins available. So you can choose the one you like. You can check the active installations before installing any WordPress plugin and check the ratings. So this is one of the famous plugin in WordPress for uh, creating appointment hour booking form on your WordPress website. Now I will just click on install now. After that I will just activate the plugin and start working on it. Just watch my video complete. I will show you how to add some custom CSS to make the form nice. Just click on activate. After the activation, you will see the plugin in your menu. Now, by default, this plugin provides you a form but you can uh, create a new one if you like. If you want to uh, use the already created form, you can just edit this one. So I will show you how to create a new one. Just add your form name, booking form. You can add any name. Now click on add new. It will just add the form. Now our form is created successfully. Now I will show you the settings. The first step in our settings. In editor you will see the adding of fields, additional fields and uh, you can change the text of submit button and you can change the error messages. First I will show you how to add the extra fields. I will remove the edit fields from the form like this. And uh, now I will show you how to add the fields in your form. If you want to add the calendar first, then you have to click on appointment. It will add the calendar in your form. Now if you want to add the email field, then you can simply click on email field. It will add the field in your form. Now you want to edit this field, you have to just click on it and go to field settings. Here you will see the label and the other settings. If you want it to require, then you can just simply check this one. If you want to make it big, you can change the size to large. If you want to make it small, you can just simply select the small. In this way, you can just simply edit this field. If you want to add additional CSS, you can add class and then you can use this class to add the custom CSS to this field. Now, if you want to change the settings of this calendar you can simply click on this one then the settings will appear in field settings you can change the label like if you want to change it to book your slot or anything else you can simply uncheck this one if you don't want to show it like this and uh, now if you want to sell your services on a specific cost you can simply set the cost here if you want to set a cost on each appointment and then you can set the amount here so if you want to change the name of service you can simply change it like this and if you want to change the duration you can set the duration from this option like 15 minutes 13 minutes of meeting and if you want to add more services that you want to show your customers multiple services and then the customer can select the specific service he needs then you have to click on plus icon the new service will be added and you can change the name of the service like this you can same change the duration to 20 minutes 25 according to your needs you can set amount if you don't want to uh, charge the amount you can remove this one after that you can set the opening hours you can set hours per day if you want to set for all days same hours you can simply select all if you want to add specific hours for a specific day you can simply click on plus icon select the day 
like this and change the hours like this so it's super easy if you want to change the working days you can simply uncheck on which you don't want to show the slots just uncheck saturday and sunday now if you want you can set the first date from this drop down i will select monday now you can change the hours 24 to 12 12 to 24 and you can show the months i will show one you can select any number you can limit the appointments for example only one person can book one appointment if you want to allow multiple appointments you can select the number from this drop down so these are the basic settings for this form now we will move to form settings you can change these headings from this option you can select the template basically three templates are available i will use the second one this one i will show you the third one also use the one you like i will go with this one and after that we will move to the second option general settings in general settings you will see that you can add a link to the thank you page after the submission of the form the user will be redirected to this thank you page so you can add a link if you have created a thank you page and you can also set the status for the uh, appointment request for example when someone send a request for appointment it will contain the status pending then from your dashboard you can change the status of the request from pending to approved or cancelled so i will show you how you can change the status later when i will submit a request and we will move further you can set the date format you can change the language and you can all check all these settings according to your needs now we will move to third option notification emails in this option basically you can set email on which you want to receive the messages from the customers or notification from the customers and you can also set option if you want to send notification to your customers when a form is submitted su successfully or any request is approved the notification will be sent to the customers on their email you can send the email subject you can change the message and uh, these are the settings for notifications on anti spam you can enable captcha if you want to add captcha in your form you just have to select this drop down to yes if you don't want to show captcha on this form you just have to select no and on reports you can generate reports and add on for add ons you can check further if you need these options but we don't need for now just click on save and publish now i will show you how you can add this appointment form on your wordpress website front end for adding the form on your front end if you are using the page builder elementor then this appointment hour booking icon will appear in the elementor toolbar you can just simply drag and drop the option on your page so if you are using wordpress editor then this option will also appear in wordpress blogs and if you want to use the short code you can simply copy the short code from the form pages like this if you want to display this form you can simply copy the form copy the short code and paste it anywhere on your front end in wordpress so you can create multiple forms and you can use them on for different services separately it totally depends on you now i will show you how you can add by using elementor edit with elementor same process is for wordpress editor and for any page builder you just have to copy the short code this short code and paste it in wordpress then your calendar will be appear on the pages and if you want to use calendly you just have to create an account on their website and copy the code and just use the short code in your wordpress website now i will show you how you can add just search appointment hour booking drag this option like this select the form you want to show on this page i have created booking form click on update 
now as you can see our form is working now now if you want to customize the style of this form or you want to add some additional css you can simply inspect the items you want to change like this inspect you can change border you can change the font size you just have to like this you just simply have to add this css in the wordpress editor and if you are using elementor pro then elementor allows you to add the custom css in the elementor window you can add additional css like this border radius 36 pixel You can add CSS according to your need and then you just have to update by adding the custom CSS in WordPress. As you can see we have just added the border radius. Same you can add more CSS, you can add font family, you can add font size. You just have to put important in your with your CSS like this. Enter just copy this or you can just copy with the classes like this and just go to your wordpress and paste it in custom appearance and customize option you will see a custom css option in customize so in this way you can add custom css to your form in this way you can add a booking form in your wordpress website so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and uh, if you have any query regarding this plugin you can ask me if you want me to create on any other plugin so i will create a video for you so don't forget to just subscribe my channel and like this video